Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a modified Ford Bronco Wild Track. And let me tell you, this build is absolutely insane. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork, Utah, for giving me some time with this Bronco. I'll include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And by the way, this Bronco is available for sale for the time being. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for David. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood of the Wild Track, we have a turbo 2.7 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for about 330 horsepower and then 415 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over this build, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So like I said, this is built off of a Wild Track. So you still have the cool Wild Track decal. Notice we have a light bar here on the roof, which just gives it that cool off-roader appearance. And then we got these little light pods here on the mirrors. And don't worry, the mirrors are attached to the body, not the doors in the Bronco. So those lights aren't going anywhere. And then we have the Bronco's signature front end here, which looks so cool. We have yet another light bar here on this front bumper. Notice we have a winch built into the bumper. And then we actually have these little yellow fog lights that'll make it so you can see through dust a little better. See, there's parking sensors still on the front bumper too. That's pretty cool. And yeah, it just, I mean, look at this thing. It gives it such a cool appearance. Hello, Ben Hardy Shadow. But popping here to the side, you can see we've got a bunch of little rocks here in the tires. So take a look at these wheels these things are so cool um, so we got these uh, beadlock wheels if you guys are wondering uh, they're 37s and in terms of the overall uh, setup it's 37 by 13 and a half by 18 and yeah i just i think it looks absolutely fantastic just look how aggressive these tires are now if we kind of scoot underneath you guys can see we've got well it's kind of hard to see but we've got uh eibach springs here as fiddle uh, focus there you go now you guys can see the whole setup here at the bottom and then if i actually kind of zoom in here you can see the rest of the suspension setup so it'll be pretty interesting to see how this performs uh, compared to the bilstein position sensitive shocks that come stock with this and then here's our full side view i love the little decal there on the side too that's pretty cool yeah those wheels look fantastic and if we pop here to the rear, look, I mean, look at this setup. Solid rear axle with the Bronco as per normal, right? And here's kind of like a better look at that whole setup. I'm really interested to see how this drives actually. Fat Bob's garage there. I guess that's the place that built it out. And then we have this little Expedition 1 uh, fuel carrier here on the back as well. And then look at the spare tire. This thing's massive. Again, it's a full 37. I'm actually interested to see, can I open this up? Oh my gosh, yes I can, but holy moly, this thing is heavy. Man, you gotta be like a power lifter to open this thing up. Wow, that is heavy. Oh, look at this, it's got like lockable storage here in the back as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, wow, oh my gosh, that is like the, Wow, that is the heaviest ever. Um, anyways, you've got the uh, bump here in the back, parking sensors, and then you've got more lights here as well, the Bronco's normal stock lights. And then here's another view there. Yeah, this thing is all decked out. This is like ready to go to Moab. And here's the interior on it quickly before we take it and drive it. Wow, look at this thing. It's pretty cool. And since this is a wild track, it has like the 360 camera. Oh, I can just show you guys. I can say it has like a 360 camera system and all that. So yeah, with the Wild Track, you get front and rear lockers. You also have the trail turn assist. Uh, no stabilizer bar disconnect, but yeah, so I can turn on the camera button here. Sorry about all the glare, but yeah, you got the whole camera set up in this. And then you got, from a goat mode perspective, you guys can see we've got a normal eco sport. Get out of here, menus. Okay, yes, I understand. Wow, there are so many different things. Slippery, we've got the mud ruts, sand, and then we have a Baja mode. So you don't have an official rock crawl mode, but you still could very easily rock crawl with this because it's got the lockers and everything. Um, six auxiliary switches here. Oh, one of those totally just turned on the light bar. That's, look at that. You can see it illuminate the uh, little uh, GMC in front of us. But yeah, soft top here and big thing. Let's see how this drives.
Okay, so we are setting off here in this modified wild track and I'm really excited to drive this because I have yet to drive a regular Bronco that has different shocks uh, from, you know, the stock ones. Again, the Bilstein position sensitive shocks. I will be reviewing a wild track with the Haas uh, suspension in the near future. So that's another reason for you guys to subscribe so you can see that review once it pops up. But it'll be pretty in interesting to see how this drives. I feel like this is more set up for like rock crawling rather than, you know, high speed off-roading, even though the wild track is supposed to be more about high speed off-roading. It just seems like the overall, how this build is super torquey. It says average has been 13.3 miles per gallon, which isn't great, but considering the tires and this setup and everything, it makes sense. Still handles great. That's one of the big benefits of the Bronco is you have independent front suspension. So it helps out the handling. There's so much wind noise with the soft top. Wow, I forgot about that. This does kick up rocks like crazy though, too, with these tires. So definitely take that into account. Almost missed my turn. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put my tripod down before it falls down. I will say I do like this uh, suspension setup. I'm just not so sure about these uh, I, these tires look really cool and again they're really practical for off-road use but I think maybe a set of all-terrain tires might be a little bit better for on-road driving just because I mean these are even down to like 25 psi and they're or actually 27 28 psi and still there's there's a bit of harshness from the tires I'm still trying to figure out the suspension for you guys yeah this drives really well actually Let's pop it into sport mode, I suppose. Turning radius is actually solid too, despite the fact that it has 37s. This almost feels like a mini Bronco Raptor. Seriously, like that's kind of, kind of what, that's kind of like the uh, feeling that I'm getting with this. See, it's quick. This thing, I don't see, I don't see any like tune or anything on this. It, it feels like quicker than stock though, for some reason. I don't think this is like, I didn't see anything under the engine, so I don't think this has been tuned, but it just, it feels too fast. Yeah, no wonder the Broncos with the uh, hard tops are commanding a price premium in the used market. Like it's not horrible, but yeah, that hard top is so much better. It's like the difference between like a luxury car and non-luxury car. Yeah, seriously, this thing just hauls. That's weird. Uh, so summing things up, here's my opinion on this. If you're not actually going to like do the rock crawling stuff with this, I would get rid of like all that stuff in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the little like storage in the back. I understand it's practical for off-road stuff, but like on road, it just rattles and it just adds weight to the back end, which yeah, you don't necessarily need. So I'd take off the, uh, I'd take that off and then maybe like the little uh, fuel canister too. As for the suspension, um, I don't know. It's, I'm kind of mixed on it. It, it feels pretty solid. I just, I'm not sure if this is, a huge improvement over the Bilstein position sensitive shocks, to be honest. It feels really good. I, like I said, I just don't know if, um, yeah, I just, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's like, uh, I don't know if it's, it's, if it's just like a boom, yep, it's an upgrade type deal. It does feel, it does feel like it drives really well. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this build. I'm, uh, kind of conflicted. I love it. And there's certain things about it that I'm like, not so sure about, but overall by far the coolest Bronco build that I have seen uh, to date. And so if you happen to want this, then yeah, check out National GMC. Let's get something's up with our video on this modified Ford Bronco. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the National GMC here in American Fork Utah for giving me some time with this Bronco. Check out the inventory in the description down below. Ask for David if you have any questions. I'll see ya.